LS173 is a portable handheld colorimeter. It adopts D8 hemispherical geometries which present a sample with diffuse illumination and approximately normal detection. Diffuse illumination is accomplished by the use of an integrating sphere. Light introduced into the sphere is sent through a series of reflections off the diffuse white sphere wall, quickly resulting in the diffuse illumination incident on the sample. The color emitter is especially suitable for color measurement of high-gloss materials such as ceramics, plastics, and hardware. The color emitter adopts ergonomic design and a 3.5-inch IPS touchscreen tilted at 30 degrees. Single button makes measurement easier. The bottom cover has a built-in white calibration tile. Test aperture is 8 mm. After power on, the instrument will enter the calibration interface which can switch the language and choose to calibrate or not. If you do, please ensure that the bottom cover and the body fit closely. And the two triangle arrows are aligned. Now we come to color compare interface. Let's start to measure. Take down the bottom cover. These are two plastic shells. This is a standard material and another is a sample. Put your color emitter on the standard material and tap scan standard. Then move to the sample and tap scan sample. You can see the result in the screen. How to understand the measurement result? Standard refers to color of standard, while sample refers to color of sample. L represents the brightness of the color. A and B represent two color axes. A represents the red-green channel of color. B represents the yellow-blue channel of color. C represents chroma. And H represents hue. Parameter delta on the right means color deviation. For color brightness L, a positive value indicates sample color whiter than standard, while a negative value indicates sample blacker than standard. For color axis A, a positive value indicates redder, while negative indicates greener. For color axis B, a positive value indicates yellower, while negative means bluer. The color indication is for reference only and cannot be used for color correction. How to quickly check whether the sample is qualified? It can automatically judge whether the color difference between the standard material and the sample is qualified by prompting pass or NG. You can set color difference threshold and choose color difference formula as per your request. Setting color difference autonomously enables batch inspection with higher efficiency. Can I compare color difference when the standard is not at hand? Sure, as long as you know it's LAB value. Just tap input standard on the display and input LAB value. Now using a color master batch plate as a sample for measuring. Tapping save standard can save color. Tapping add standard to add historical database as standard color. Tapping history can check measurement history. How to find the closely matched color number of the material? First, switch to color scan function, tap scan and select color charts. Put color emitter on the material and start to measure, there will be LAB value. Tapping setting can switch to six other color spaces. You can find the most close color numbers matched here. Color card matching accuracy can reach 90%. How to create your own color card. Measure the color of material. Name it and store. Tap my colors on top to check colors saved. You can select any color in the folders as standard for color comparison. How to precisely locate the measure area. When the required area is too small for accurate locating, you can use the locating plate. After fixing the color emitter and the plate, just start your measurement directly. LS173 color emitter has good measurement repeatability. 
Its delta EAB value can achieve 0.03 while peer products can only achieve 0.08. LS-173 ensures to pass the inspection of the Authoritative Metrology Institute. It's a professional choice for color management.